healthy, let's make supper again. Now, you're gonna be surprised to hear that I actually make chicken soup during the week and not on Shabbos because it's a whole weeknight meal between the matzo balls and the chicken in it and it's great. But for those of you that are gasping at the fact that I do that, I'm gonna show you how to take my chicken soup and turn it into a chicken pot pie, the homemade crust that everybody loves. I'm also gonna show you how to take that chicken soup and use my little hack to turn it into a whole nother soup really easily and quickly, and it's gonna be perfect for the weeknight. I know you're gonna love it. Now let's cook supper. Over here I have my chicken soup. Now you can use your chicken soup recipe, it doesn't matter, just make a chicken soup that you enjoy. And you're going to wanna to make sure you have in there some carrots that are whole, which is what I have over here. You can cut up the other vegetables smaller if you want, but I'm gonna keep these ones whole so I can cut them up for the chicken pot pie. You're gonna put them into your pie dish that you're gonna be serving your chicken pot pie in. And then you're also going to make sure you put in there a potato or two. So I typically don't put potatoes in my chicken soup, but for making chicken pot pie, I like having potatoes in there, so I put two or three, however many you want, of potatoes in the actual soup. That way, it all cooks in there and you don't have to boil a potato or cook a potato up. Now I'm just gonna find the potatoes in there. And as you see, I also have here a bag with the chicken in it, which is gonna make it easy to remove as well. Now that's all I'm gonna need for right now for the base of the chicken pot pie. So I'm gonna move this to the side, but I am gonna reserve some of the liquid because that's what we're gonna add into there as well. So chicken soup, you're using the carrots, you're using the potatoes, the chicken, and some of that delicious chicken soup. Now one thing I like to do when I'm making the soup, knowing I'm going to change it from a chicken soup to a weeknight soup, is I do cut the vegetables up a bit smaller than I usually do when I make chicken soup, but that's entirely up to you. You could also keep it whole and then just remove them, dice them up and put it back inside, or you can just keep them whole as it is. Remove the chicken from the bag and shred it off the bone, and then remove all those bones. You can either cut it up or shred up the chicken, it doesn't really matter. And you can also use chicken breast here. I happen to be using legs and thighs, but chicken breast works perfectly. Just put it into your soup when you're cooking the soup. Chicken breast is definitely easier to use in this case because you don't have to remove it from the bone, but we happen to like the dark meat, and so that's what I'm using. Now, of course, you can do this in a separate plate, but I happen to not want to wash another dish, so that's why I'm doing it right in the dish I'm going to be making the chicken pot pie in. I'm also going to dice and cube up the potatoes and carrots. You can also add some peas here. Frozen peas work well, but I'm keeping that out because my kids won't eat them. Now to season this, all I'm going to add in is a little bit of salt, some black pepper, as well as some flour. That's going to help make that roux without having to do it on the stove top. We're gonna to add that right on top there, and then we're gonna give it a mix. Here I have some of the chicken broth, and I'm going to add that now onto the chicken that has all the flour and spices. And give it a mix. Now that that's all mixed, we're just going to make the crust and put it on top. I have some oil and water, and I'm just going to give that a mix, and then I'm going to add in some flour and salt. That's it. It's a really, really easy recipe. You can swap out other flours as well for this. You can use whole wheat, you can use spelt. You might just need a little bit more or less of flour depending on what you're using. Now that it's come together, I'm just going to place it onto a piece of parchment paper and roll it out to fit the pan and place it on top. Now instead of using this crust, of course you can use puff pastry here, it works great, but I find this is really easy and it's very, very tasty. Remember this liquid is going to thicken in the oven, so don't worry about that. From the flour in there. And now I just take this pie crust on the parchment and flip it right onto the pie dish. Now just peel it off. And now you can pinch the edges. And by the way, it doesn't matter if it's perfect, don't worry about it, it'll still taste the same. At this point, you could put some egg wash onto the crust, but I'm not gonna do that because it requires more time and I don't have it. Now I'm just gonna cut some slits into the pie. You don't need to, but I think it looks cute. And now into the oven it goes. It is out of the oven, it is hot and bubbly, and the crust is nice and crispy. Can you hear that? Perfect crust, and it's going to be so delicious. I can't wait to break into it. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit to cool down before I do cut into it, but this is such a great, easy meal. Now I promised you my hack for chicken soup during the week when you don't wanna have chicken soup, and that is this delicious, vegetable split pea chicken soup. The secret ingredient is Manischewitz vegetable soup mix. It has mushrooms in it, peas, barley, a whole bunch of different things, and we're just going to add that in here, let it cook for two hours, 
and the soup totally transforms. I'm just removing this packet here because we're going to leave that out till the very end and just add the rest in now. As you see, it has some beans in there as well, the split peas, the barley, and would you believe that just adding this in there is going to totally change the texture of this and make it taste absolutely delicious for during the week. Now it actually says in the back exactly what to be doing. Um, it says seven cups of water. This is about that, maybe a bit more, but it'll still be fine. And in the last 10 minutes, add as much as you want of this mix. I'm going to let it come to a simmer and let it cook until everything's soft. The soup's been cooking for a while and now the peas and the barley has a, have absorbed a lot of that liquid and it's really nice and thick and creamy. And I'm going to add in some of the spice packet, but first I would probably taste the soup and see how much it needs because you don't need to add the whole thing. You can add some of it and see if you need more. Now mix that in and we're going to cover it and let it cook 10 more minutes and then it's done. There you have it. We have the chicken pot pie here made from the chicken soup as well as the hearty vegetable soup also made from the base of the chicken soup. I just wanted to show you how hearty and creamy that is. You have the beans in there, the barley, the peas and all those vegetables from the chicken soup and I also want to cut in to the chicken pot pie so we can see how delicious it is on the inside. Break into that crust. Super creamy on the inside, crispy, nice flaky crust. I know you're really gonna enjoy this and please let me know below if you try these recipes out. There are two meal ideas here and I know you're going to be happy trying either one or maybe try both like I did.